Hello my friends, welcome back to Keto in the Chaos. My name is Tammy and on this channel I like to share all my tips and tricks on how I lost 200 pounds without bariatric surgery and how you can be successful on your own weight loss journey. So if that's what you're looking for, don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the bell for more videos like this one to inspire you to get started. Tips. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm excited that you have come to check in on me on my first week in 2022 and how it went. I am currently attempting a cut without a lot of motivation. So this is going to be an interesting video on how it went this week. First off, before I get started, I just wanted to give a shout out to those of you who have chosen to have bariatric surgery. I just wanted to let you know that my intro by no means is meant to belittle or make you feel like your choice was not the best one or that it was taking the easy way out because it certainly is not. I just want people to know all the data right up front when they come to a video of mine and so I need to include that so that they know where I'm coming from. It's literally just a data point. It's not meant to hurt anyone's feelings and I hope that you can understand. Okay, so one more thing before we get started. I just wanted to let you guys know that I am almost to my 40,000 subscriber milestone and I am super excited. And in this video, I'm going to be putting in a little clip at the end for what I'm going to be doing for my big huge giveaway that will be coming up very, very soon. So definitely make it to the end of the video if you want to know more information on how that is going to take place and what prizes are going to be available. I'm super excited. They are some of my favorite products and I'm excited to share them with some of you. All right, so 2022, my first week of 2022. Um, when I first set out to do this, I really intended to go all in, no holds barred, and really go back to my cutting macros. Now, those of you who've been around for a little while know that my original cutting macros were a little under 1,300 calories, which last year I reversed out of in order to get my calorie level back up to where I really want to be. I want to be more stable at above 2,000 calories and be able to eat more food. So last year I did a whole reverse diet. It took forever. I think it took like seven months to get from 1300 calories to 2150. I don't know. It was long. It took forever to get to that point. And I felt pretty accomplished that I got there. I don't really want to lose that momentum because I worked so hard to get there, but I have put on some weight since my surgery that I'd really like to say goodbye to. But I have the rest of my life to lose this weight, so I am not like super highly motivated to go on a 1300 calorie cut right now. Um, I know I could do it, I've done it a billion times, but right now I'm just not feeling it. Maybe the summer will motivate me, we'll see, but right now I'm just trying to figure out a little bit less drastic cutting macro type situation that I can cope with in my daily life and continue on through the next few months. Hopefully lose some of that weight that I've gained after surgery and if not, find a happy maintenance for 2022 that's working for me. So all that up front to say, my food in these videos probably isn't what you would like to copy for a fast weight loss program. If you're looking for that, don't forget to check out my Keto Cut playlist that I did a couple summers ago because that's when I did 1300 calories and I killed it. And there's a lot of great ideas on what you can eat if you really want to do a super fast, quick cut. Right now, I'm just wanting to do something a little bit more reasonable, a little bit more slow <laughs> as the case may be and if that means I don't lose then I don't lose I'm not like super disappointed in myself if things don't go well now all of that to say I don't want you to think that this week didn't go well because of all of that that I'm saying I just wanted you to know that up front that's where I'm at in my head game let's not play head games around here so in this video you're gonna see my actual full body 360 view before and after this week so um, eventually I probably will put together one where, it's, you know, if I actually lose some weight at some point where it shows the before and after of like the whole thing um, since my surgery. But for, for this video, you're just going to see um, basically Sunday and Sunday again. Also, I show you every day what I weigh and every day what I eat. I try really hard to record everything. I don't always. Um, 
it's the, I do the best that I can. If I happen to have another built bar outside of what I recorded, I don't always record it, but I do try and track it. So what you see here may not be exactly what I ate, but it's close. <laughs> I hope that's, I don't know. Maybe it'll give you some ideas. That's enough talking, let's get to the food. Welcome back to another video. It is Monday and it's actually after four o'clock in the afternoon and I'm having my first meal. Normally I wouldn't do that to myself. This was not like some kind of planned fast or punishment or any kind of ridiculousness that I don't even believe in. I mean, I do believe in intermittent fasting if that helps you, but I didn't plan to do it that way. Just ended up that way. I made a couple of videos today. It took me forever to get that done and I'm finally having time to eat. Should actually be on my way to the dance studio, but Dave took my daughter so that I could have some time at home before my dance class later tonight. All right, so my first meal tends to be the same thing over and over. I just I warn you. Sorry about that. Today I am having Greek yogurt. If you are new here, you probably didn't know that I eat this every single day. And this is my favorite way to have the yogurt right now. Um, I've done it a million different ways. This way has stuck around since October when I had COVID. I have literally not been able to stop eating this since then. It was the only thing that tasted good to me when I couldn't taste anything at all. And it's basically 300 grams of 0% Greek yogurt mixed with a tiny little bit, like a capful of lemon juice, two squirts of lemonade Mio, and I just whipped that up mix that up together then I put 40 grams of the blueberries on top and the pop of the blueberries with the lemon of the and the creaminess of the yogurt is just awesome and then on top I use great value spray whipped cream this wasn't available for a little bit a little bit of time but it's back yay 25 grams of the sugar-free whipped cream then I'm having 41 grams of Daly's brand bacon this is my favorite bacon because the macros are really good on it it has almost equal protein and fat. So when you're choosing your bacon, try and make sure that it's high in protein and lower in fat because this is basically a fat bomb. Um, I'm having an egg, same thing with eggs. They are practically even, so I don't do too many, but my, my hens are laying again a little bit and so I'm trying to eat their eggs. And then I'm having a Built Bar. These are awesome because they are super high in protein. This particular bar has only 130 calories and 17 grams of protein with four sugars, four net carbs. And so they work really great with what I am doing here for the new year. And that's gonna be my first meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it is actually almost 11 o'clock at night. It is 10.45. Um, I got home really late from dance and we hadn't really decided what I was going to eat, and I decided I wanted soup because um, Clara on the group on Facebook had suggested having soup, and it sounded so good all day, and then it took a while for Dave to make it. Well, I've been editing videos anyways, so I didn't realize what how late it was, but I digress. Now, because it was exercise dance day, I decided I was going to add a few more extra carbs. So in my soup, I've got extra carbs in the way of corn. And also, I decided to have a piece of gluten-free bread on the side. So you can see, here is my delicious soup that Dave made me. It has 100 grams of all the veggies, except for the carrots, I think, are 90. And the corn is 50, I think, something like that. And then 100 grams for everything else. Six ounces of ground beef and six ounces of canned tomatoes. And then bouillon and seasonings, things like that. It looks so good. So there's cauliflower, zucchini, um, and celery also in this soup. I'm also going to have a piece of gluten-free bread. This is a tiny, tiny little piece of bread. I mean, it's teensy, tiny, but um, it's just a little piece of bread. This is the Canyon House Ancient Grain Bread with four, four grams of butter on it. And then for dessert, I'm going to be having a Built Puff like I usually do, but I'm also adding in a Built Crave because my protein is really still low today. Um, I didn't eat as much this morning. I don't know what the deal is with it, but if you guys 
didn't get a chance to get this, you should go see if it's still out. It came out this week over at Built. It's a brand new bar. It tastes more like a candy bar than the other. And the macros on it are still pretty good. 5 grams sugar, 17 grams protein, and 160 calories. So it's a little bit higher in calories than other bars. But yum, it's pretty tasty. And that is going to be my last meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it is 2.20 in the afternoon and I'm about to have my first meal of the day. Um, today I was in the mood for some keto chow sludge. So I have a recipe for that in my playlists. There's a recipes playlist and or if you just Google or search keto chow sludge, you'll find it. Um, I made it a little bit different than my recipe there, but almost exactly the same, just different flavors. So I used 300 grams of 0% fat Greek yogurt and 20 grams of snickerdoodle keto chow. Then on top of that, I put 10 grams of the cinnamon keto Wonderworks cereal, and then 25 grams of sugar-free whipped cream, a little bit of feast mode honey butter seasoning, a little cinnamon. And that, and, and then I'm pairing that with some bacon and my very last gingerbread built bar. I'm gonna miss those, and that is gonna be my first meal of the day. All right, I decided I was gonna have a snack today. This is a mini meal, so I'm having schoolyard snacks. Um, the Keto Puffs, these are pretty decent macros. Um, 14 protein, five fat. Also, I really like these gummy bears, only 60 calories. And same thing, this is only 80 calories, a mellow munch from Perfect Keto. Alrighty guys, I'm home from dance and I'm about to have my final meal of the day. I am having a 12 ounce ribeye steak and 155 grams of broccoli with no butter. And that is going to be my last meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it is Wednesday. It is 1 o'clock in the afternoon, actually 1.20. I'm eating way early today. Go me, I'm proud. <laughs> um, I was kind of in the mood for something different. It didn't really work out the way I was planning. I was trying to make like a lemon ice cream out of my yogurt. It ended up being more like a smoothie, but I'm not drinking it. I'm eating with spoon. Anyway, I'm going to show you before it melts to death. So I did 200 grams of Greek yogurt with some ice cubes and some water. I added 31 grams of Quest vanilla protein shake powder, two capfuls of lemon juice, and a squirt of lemonade mio. As you can see, it's kind of watery, but it tastes okay. It's not the best thing I've ever made. Oh, and I also added in 25 grams of heavy cream while I was making that in the bullet blender. Then I threw on 40 grams of blueberries because, of course, I didn't want to mix those in to worry that it would make a weird color. So that's how they are. It's kind of weird. I also have a bacon, but I was short bacon today because I am, I need to thaw out some. And so I had 30 grams only of bacon. So I'm having two pieces of cheese with my built bar and that is going to be my first meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it is nine o'clock on, what day is it? Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. And I am about to have my last meal of the day at the dance studio. I did eat one package of Lily gummy bears. I just was feeling very chewy which I do when I get anxiety and I've been getting anxiety a lot at the dance studio lately <laughs> so I went ahead and had those and tracked them and then I'm gonna also have a built, a built puff with my food but I didn't go grab that yet but I already tracked it so I am having a quest chip taco salad I have one package of nacho cheese quest chips 60 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese um, about six ounces of ground beef, though I did the pre-cooked, I, I did the cooked crumbles, so I did 125 grams of cooked crumbles, basically, that we had left over. Um, 47 grams of lettuce, 60 grams of tomato, 60 grams of salsa, and 30 grams of sour cream. That's going to be my last meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it is 3.20 on Thursday. I waited as long as I could, eat, could to eat today because I'm going to the dance studio for a really long time tonight and we're leaving in about 15-20 minutes so I wanted to make sure that I had plenty to eat before I left. But I'm taking my Built Bar and my Lily Gummy Bears with me to eat at the studio because I've been having a really hard time not eating it at the studio. So I'm going to kind of try and split up my meal a little bit so that I don't like totally over exceed my macros. Anyway, 
So I am going to be having yogurt. This is my regular yogurt. Oh, uh, 300 grams of 0% Faye with lemonade, Mio, and today 50 grams of blueberries and 25 grams of sugar-free whipped cream. Different bacon today. I've got 47 grams of Oscar Mayer Naturals. It's really good macros if you're looking for one that has even fat to protein ratio. Oscar Mayer Naturals is a good one. My dailies was still frozen. So it is what it is. And a couple pieces of cheese. That is going to be my first meal of the day. Alrighty, everyone. I'm here at the dance studio. I'm going to have the snack that I mentioned earlier. I'm going to have a couple of these. These are the new formula or the new, I don't know. They're just so freaking good. I just got some new ones and man, they're better than the old ones. I don't know what they did different, but they're good. And some of these. Alrighty guys, it's 9.30 on Thursday. I'm home from the dance studio. We were pretty much out of all the groceries because I totally needed to go grocery shopping like the last two days and I haven't got it done. And Dave went out to get in and out for all the kids and I didn't really want to eat that. Um, so I was stuck making myself something and it's pretty pitiful, but this is what I'm going to have. First, I'm having a skillet pizza, which I obviously burned. <laughs> Made out of three ounces of mozzarella cheese, nine pepperonis, and an ounce of leucine marinara. And then I made me some keto chow ice cream. So I made this with one scoop of chocolate keto chow, 90 grams of frozen strawberries, um, about, I don't know, like a three quarters of a cup of ice, a little bit of water, and some sweetener. Blended it up. Looks pretty good. And that's legitimately going to be my last meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's Friday. It's 3.30 on Friday and I'm just now eating my first meal of the day because I've been doing fun things with the girls all day. We had like a makeup party and not make out party, a makeup party. <laughs> and we went out and did pictures and stuff and I just haven't gotten to eating. So I'm finally getting to eating and I realized I needed to do a grocery order. I have no yogurt. So I had to improvise. So I'm going to be a little bit more carby today probably than... I've been trying to be, if that makes sense. Not by much, but it's because I'm doing a cottage cheese instead of yogurt, which is a little high in carbs. So this is 250 grams of 4% cottage cheese and 27 grams of sugar-free blackberry jam with 30 grams of blueberries in that. Then of course my regular bacon, 41 grams of the dailies, I thawed some out, and some Monterey Colby Jack cheese and a Bilt Bar. That is going to be my first meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's like 10.30. I'm really tired and I'm finally having my last meal of the day. I've been having so much fun with my girls doing makeup and photos and yeah, it's been a day. Dave went and got me some wings from our favorite place, JCW's. This is just nine plain wings with sauce on the side and a salad with ranch. And that's going to be my last meal of the day. Hey guys, it is two o'clock on Saturday and I'm about to have my first meal of the day. I'm back to yogurt. I got shopping done. Woohoo! So my same Greek yogurt that I always have with the lemonade Mio and the 40 grams of blueberries and 25 grams of sugar-free whipped cream. Today I am having the rest of my Oscar Mayer Naturals bacon. It was 42 grams because I wanted to use it up. An egg that actually didn't completely destroy today, which is shocking from my backyard chickens and a built bar. I'm trying to use some of these older ones. This is a mystery flavor. I don't know they ever told us what flavor this is, but it tastes like like fruity cereal. But yeah, anyway, I'm trying to use up some of my other bars that I haven't used in a while instead of using my new ones, which I want to eat like my fresh cookies and cream ones, but that's why I'm eating that one. And that's gonna be my first meal of the day. Hey guys, it is 8.30 on Saturday night. Dave is not home tonight, he can't make dinner. I got my kids Domino's and I just didn't feel like making myself anything, so I may regret this, but I decided to go for Domino's wings. So it's a 10 piece wings with a ranch. I will probably end up maybe eating something else with this, but I don't know what, maybe, I don't know. I, we'll see how I feel after I eat it, but for now, this is what I'm having for my last meal of the day. guys it is two o'clock it is two o'clock and I'm about to have my first meal of the day um, I decided that Sundays and Mondays are going to be higher carb days also it's the day like my kids come over for dinner and so 
you know, I'm always going to be like eating special food or things like that. So Sunday's a good day for eating higher calories too. I don't know for sure what I'm going to have for dinner yet. So I decided to just have kind of a carbier breakfast. So I am having a breakfast sandwich on a gluten-free English muffin. This is the Canyon House honey whole wheat or honey whole grain. I think it has sunflower seeds in it. It's kind of good. Um, definitely not carb-free though. It's definitely gluten-free. An egg and 57 grams of roast beef are on that with two pieces of Swiss cheese. Then I have my same exact um, yogurt, except for I had a little less of it. It's only 227 grams of the yogurt, but everything else is the same. And a vanilla built bar. That is going to be my first meal of the day. So it's wings week. This is my third wings day in a row. Dave made these. There's nine of them. Chicken wings. And I'm going to have 100 grams of tater tots, also cooked in the air fryer with some ranch and Frank's Red Hots. And that's going to be my last meal of the day. Alrighty guys, I made jello popcorn balls out of sugar-free jello, marshmallows, butter, and popcorn. So they're not very low calorie, but hey, at least they're sugar-free jello. And I'm going to have a little ice cream. This is my carbs for the night. And that's going to be my last food of the day. in the 360 in my opinion I feel like I really trimmed out this week a little bit um, even though the scale wasn't like a dramatic loss or anything I feel like I put on some lean mass I did do some exercise this week and I of course had a few weeks off with all of the holidays and I don't think I had been doing any exercise since the dance showcase which was like a December 16th so it's been a few weeks since I've done anything and I had some pretty intense workouts this week at least for me maybe not intense for someone like you but for me it was a lot and so I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the clips of what I got done this week um, I hope you enjoy it it's fun it's my dance classes and things like that and then we'll come back and talk about how much weight I lost this week and whether or not I'm gonna continue on the same way for the following week
hurt so bad. Right here. Oh, no. Down here doesn't hurt at all. Back in here. Oh. Still. Well, six months out. It's fine. I don't know how long that was. Probably not as long as it felt. Probably a minute. I hope so. So that was fun. <laughs> it was a crazy week exercise wise. I put myself through the ringer a little bit. We had some extra time at the end of class and I, they, everyone else wanted to do wall push-ups, and I decided to attempt a few um, floor push-ups and a plank to see how long I could hold it. Um, I don't know how long it was, but I probably put how long it was when I was editing the video because maybe I actually checked, but um, it, it felt like a long time. I am still struggling with pain at the top of my muscle repair and it's just pretty intense whenever I do anything like a push-up. Anything that engages my upper core is extremely painful and so I'm still trying to like take it easy because the doctor did tell me three months ago not to do anything that was extremely painful. So hopefully um, I'm not doing any damage to myself, but I know that it definitely plays a part in my swelling and things like that when I do that. I know I was a little bit swollen the next day, but it went down by the time I recorded the after. So I think it went pretty well. I mean, maybe it was just the lighting, but I can see my abs a little better. So let's hope that sticks around. And if it doesn't, oh well, it is such as life, but it was fun in the meantime to see. So my weights this week... Um, we're 193 up to 195.4 and with an average of 193.6 which was down 0.9 from last week so basically I'm staying the same last week I was up 0.8 and now I'm down 0.9 so I would call that a maintenance week um, calorie wise I'm sure you can guess that I didn't do the awesomest on getting a deficit. Um, my calories for the week were 1857, 1529, 1893, 1567, 1637, 2212, and 1813 with an average of 1787. That still is a deficit for me. It's just not an extreme one. And I was really shooting for 1500, but as you can see, that did not work out. But I am super proud of myself for tracking every single day this week, even the days where I overate and had a few extra built bars and just didn't feel like being on a deficit. I still tracked everything to make sure that I know the data, which that's a huge. I used to be like so good at tracking and lately I have just, I've just let it fall and I really need to get working back and get more in the habit of doing that again, just so that I have those data points to know why things aren't changing because I really need to know for sure so that I can adjust things. Um, 
My protein for the week was actually pretty good. The average protein for the week was 175, which if you guys know, I try to do about 10% in grams for what my calories are. So with my calories at 1787, I should be hitting about 179 protein and I hit 175. So that is pretty good. So that means at least I was eating 40% of my calories from protein, which is great because when I'm trying to burn body fat, I wanna eat less energy, and I do that by getting more protein in, and that really worked for me. Um, carbs, I had a high hopes of doing keto this week. High, high hopes, but it did not pan out. Um, my average carbs for the week were 62. Not horrible, it's definitely in the low carb camp, but it's definitely not in the ketosis camp. Um, I kind of bounced in and, around in and out of ketosis. I could kind of feel myself going in and out. Um, this is the week I usually put on water weight anyway, so I wasn't really expecting any to drop in water, body water, though it looks like I did have some drop in body water and I didn't have a huge weight gain. So if I can maintain that through next week, we might be good into the two weeks where I usually drop. So cross some fingers. Um, fats, I was at 79, which is pretty much where I try and hit. I don't like to go above 80 grams of fat. I like to stay pretty low and if my carbs are higher obviously my fats are going to be a little lower so it just depends these were average medium carb and fat levels for me so that worked out pretty good all in all i was in a minor deficit um, my weights basically dropped or stayed the same a little bit and on a week where i usually put on water weight that's pretty impressive i was happy with my 360s i like the way i look this week I'm proud of tracking. I'm proud of the exercise that I did. And all in all, I think I did really great for my first week into 2022. So my goal for next week is to try and continue that same thing on each day, take it one day at a time, try not to overeat, try to at least hit a deficit as many days as I can. And if I'm not hitting a deficit, I'm trying really, really hard not to go over my calories. So we'll see how that goes this week, but, um, you know, I still have those tendencies to overeat and binge and want to eat more food than I need. And I'm always fighting those. I probably will for the rest of my life. So just so you guys know, I'm just a regular person. I'm still struggling six years into this process, still working on my goals, still always trying to have a plan. Even when I'm off plan, I try and have a reason for doing it. For example, if I'm gonna overeat calories, really I should be exercising my muscles like I did this week so that I can build some lean mass using those extra calories. So that's the way I kind of wrap my brain around when I have a hard time eating lower. I just think, you know, maybe my body needs it this week. Maybe I'm building some lean mass. Maybe I just need some extra carbs in my glycogen stores and my body just wants it. I'm trying really hard to get to know my body at this point because I can't live my entire life bossing and bossing and bossing my body around. It gets exhausting. I need to be able to trust myself a little bit and I'm finally to that place mentally where I feel like I can give myself a little leeway. If that means weight gain, then that's what it means. It's just another experiment in this series of experiments I have done to myself over the last few years with the weight loss. You know, it's not as exciting for you guys as watching me have a dramatic weight drop every single week, but it is what it is and I'm not gonna stress over it because it's my real life and even though I'm sharing it with you, it's just regular life for me and I just have to do the best that I can and know that it's good enough for me and hope it's also good enough for you. So if you are excited about being here and you have some friends that would like to join me, I really need about 70 more subscribers to do this giveaway. So I'm gonna put the information coming up um, on how you need to enter, but if you have a few friends that you can share this with or tell them to come by and just give me a, give me a little bit of a support, um, that would be super great. Okay, so here's the information about my big giveaway. I'm excited to do this for you guys, and I hope that you're excited too. Okay, you guys, I am back with the giveaway details. So for my 40,000 subscriber giveaway, my plan is to draw the winners either when I hit 40,000 or when I just feel like I have an overwhelming amount of people who have joined the contest. So um, I'm not like putting a set date on it. I will definitely notify that I will be drawing the names or that I will be announcing the names. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna choose based on a personal preference of what you guys say or whether or not I'm just gonna put them in a wheel and let it be what it's gonna be. So think hard about what you say just in case I decide to go by 
who I think deserves it the most, maybe, or whatever. So my goal is to have 40 winners. That may or may not happen. I know for sure I will at least be doing 20 winners from Keto Chow, and I'd also like to also do 20 winners from Built. So Keto Chow has actually um, offered to do this giveaway for us. They have these packages that they'd like to send out to a lot of people so that people can try their product. You know that I love Keto Chow. I especially love making their Keto Chow ice cream and I also love mixing it with yogurt for kind of like a cookie dough sludge kind of deal and it, they are just really, really great even if you just drink them as a um, as a protein drink supplement. So I'm excited that they have offered such a huge giveaway for all of my subscribers. So I'm super excited about it. Um, each person that wins the Keto Chow will win this entire huge pack of Keto Chow packets. <laughs> it's like huge. And then of course I will be sending out the Built Bars myself. So it just depends on how many I can order and how many I can work out. But I'm hoping to do 20 Built Bars because this will be from me. And it'll be just the flavor, some, some of the basic flavors. So there will be, you can choose, but you can only choose amongst certain flavors. So this is one of my favorites that will be one of the flavors you can choose from. So let me just show you what's in the keto chow packet while we're here and I will then and then I will tell you what you got to do to enter the giveaway so we have these little like individual packets of chocolate peanut butter we've got banana strawberry um I don't know how many packets are in here there's like so many Mm, snickerdoodle. Ooh, I love snickerdoodle, especially mixed with yogurt and a little of that um, Wonderworks cereal to taste like, like, you know, cookie dough or even like chocolate chips, lily chocolate chips with mixed with yogurt. Oh my gosh, so good. Um, natural strawberry. I don't know what that exactly means, but oh, it's got monk fruit instead of the other sweetener. Root beer float. This one is really fun to make like ice cream out of. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Uh, let's see, we've got regular chocolate, which is my one of my all-time favorites for ice cream, because it's very, you know, and of course just to drink, because chocolate is basic, and their chocolate is really sweet, which is nice. Ooh, eggnog, I haven't tried that one. That sounds fun. Might have to try that. Um, what else we got in here? Mocha, pumpkin spice, Caramel, and that's all the flavors that I got in my pack. So it looks like 20 packs, 20 servings of Keto Chow for each of 20 winners. Wow, what a generous offering from Keto Chow. I'm so excited that they decided to step in right at this time when I was thinking about doing a giveaway for my 40,000 subscribers. So if you know anybody that hasn't subscribed to me already that might be willing to come and check me out and see if they want to stick around and join the family, we need about, I think, gosh, I think it's like 65 at this point, more people to join. And if we get the 65 really quickly and there's only 40 people who've entered, then all of you will win. So the faster we can get to 40,000, um, if we don't get to 40,000, I am going to cut it off at a certain point where I just feel like it's too many entries and I'm gonna go from there. So it just depends on which one happens first. So I'm excited to see what happens with this. All you need to do to enter. First thing you need to do, thumbs up this video and as many other videos as you can, but thumbs up this video, okay? The second thing is make sure you're subscribed because if you were not subscribed to my channel, you cannot win this giveaway because that's the point, 40,000 subscribers, right? Right, so subscribe if you haven't already, which would, if you haven't already, raise up the likelihood of you winning, right? Because the faster we get to 40,000, the less people enter, right? Okay, and then comment below your full name, where you live, and how you are changing your life in 2022. It can be something small, it can be something big, it doesn't have to have anything to do with weight loss, just one thing that you personally are doing to change your life in 2022. 
me, I really want to learn to manage my time a little better and get more done in less time. So that's what I'm working on this year. But I'd like to hear about what you're working on in 2022. So comment that below. That's all you have to do to enter. I will take every single person that enters and I will either decide on, like I said, if I'm going to choose the ones I like the best or if I'm going to draw it from a thing. I'm not going to say which one I'm going to do because it's it's my giveaway. I get to decide, right? So if you want to enter, now's the time. Get down there and do that. What are you waiting for? You're still here? Get down in the comments and get yourself entered into the contest. I'm so excited. I'm so close to 40,000 subscribers. I hope you'll share with all your friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and we'll talk to you all again soon.